In one of my previous tutorials, I demonstrate how to create a freeze frame flash effect. To expand upon that concept, let's put a wood frame around our skateboard. Start by placing the playhead indicator in an area you want your clip to freeze. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift N to create a freeze frame within the viewer window. Specify a duration of one second for the freeze frame in the upper left corner of the viewer window. Press the insert button to edit the freeze frame into your sequence. OK, now drag another copy of the freeze frame onto V2 covering the entire sequence. Right click on the V2 freeze frame clip and choose Send to Motion Project from the contextual menu. Press the Save button to save your motion project. After motion opens, you may need to zoom out a bit using the keyboard shortcut Command Minus to see the entire video frame within the canvas window. Navigate over to the Library tab. Click on the Content category. Look for a wood frame and then drag it into the canvas window. Resize the frame to fit the aspect ratio of your video clip. OK, now go ahead and save your motion project. Press Command H to hide Apple Motion. Now that we're back in Final Cut Pro, trim back the freeze frame on V2 to match the start of the freeze frame on V1. Double click on the V2 clip to load it into the viewer window. Click on the Motion tab at the top of the viewer. Place the position indicator at the front of the clip. Move over to the canvas window and turn on the image plus wireframe mode. Press the Add Motion Keyframe button in the lower right corner of the canvas window. Move forward 10 frames using the right arrow key on your keyboard. Now resize and position your freeze frame. Navigate over to the Effects tab within the browser window. Drag the flash frame transition to the beginning of your clip on V2. Now move to your dock and click on the Finder icon. Then press Command F to perform a search. Change the Kind menu to Music. In the search box, type the keyword Camera. Drag the Camera Flash Mono sound effect directly to the timeline at the point where the flash takes place. Okay, that's it. Back up and play the composite. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Studio training course, visit GeniusDV.com.